Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillahi Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Ahlan wa sahlan ila dars athani wal ishroon Welcome to lesson 22 um, This lesson <coughs> is the second to last lesson Inshallah we'll go over the Al-Mamnu'u min as-sarf Al-Mamnu'u min as-sarf <coughs> And you are familiar with it Because we mentioned it in the previous lessons However now we'll go into more details <coughs> And see the different categories of al mamnu' min as sarf <coughs> So al mamnu' min as sarf literally it means prohibited from change. Prohibited from change. Sarf means change. Um, but to be more specific in the Arabic language, it means that it does not change in a sense that it does not like kasra. A word, an ism that is mamnu' min as sarf. And you will find that the mamnu' min as sarf is always going to be an ism, not a harf, not a fi'l. <coughs> it does not like al kasra and it does not like at tanween Those two things, al kasra and at tanween is disliked by Mamnum al Sarf. So it wouldn't take a tanween it would not take a kasra And we'll see a bunch of examples and we'll kind of categorize them as follows. <coughs> the first group of al mamnu' min al Sarf, feminine proper nouns. By a proper noun, we mean it could be the name of a person or the name of a place. Name of a place or a person. And there are other things besides that, but this is the, the, the majority of um, words that appear in this lesson. So feminine proper nouns like Judah. As we mentioned, Judah is the name of a city in Saudi Arabia. It can be pronounced as Jidda with a Kasra or Jadda with a Fatha. Judda, Jidda, Jadda, it's all the same. It's Mamnu' min as -sarf. Why? Because it is a feminine proper noun. It's the name of a place. <coughs> Similarly, Mecca, Mecca too, is a feminine proper noun. It's Mamnu' min as -sarf. So you'll never see Mecca or Judda Similarly, the names like Aisha, name of a, of a female, Aisha too, Fatima too. It's mamnu' min as -sarf. Why? Because it's a feminine proper noun. Fatima too, as you mentioned. Maryamu. Zainabu. So it's very important that we understand that not every single um, name that has a ta'ul marbuta is considered to be mamnu' min as -sarf. Okay? If it happens to be a feminine proper noun, then it is mamnu' min as -sarf. That's the first category. The second category... Masculine proper nouns that end with ta ul marbuta. It ends with a ta al marbuta. So, masculine proper nouns, names of men or males, like Hamza tu, Hamza, has a ta ul marbuta, so it's mamnu' min asarf. Usama tu, Usama, mamnu' min asarf because it ends with a ta ul marbuta. Muawiyah tu, Muawiyah is mamnu' min asarf because it ends with a ta ul marbuta. This does not belong here. It should have been Talhatu. Okay, so let's correct that. Talha, the name Talha. Talhatu is Mamnur and Asaf because it's a masculine proper noun ending with Ta'ul Marbuta. <coughs> Third on the list, masculine proper nouns ending in An. An. For example, Uthman, Uthman, man. It ends with Alif and Nun. Uthman, Affan, Sufyan, Marwan, Nu'man. All masculine proper nouns and they end with An. Number four on the list. Adjectives on the pattern of Fa'lan. Adjectives on the pattern of Fa'lan. So what do we mean the pattern of fa'lan? Notice that in the Arabic language, if they want to explain uh, the sarf, the morphology of a word, they a lot of times they put it on a generic scale. The generic scale is going to be with fa, ayn, and lam. Those main letters, fa, ayn, and lam. So the fa, the ayn, and the lam of the letter, if you take fa, ayn, lam, alif, noon, you can match it. Let's go with the kaslan. The kaf represents the fa, 
the seen represents the ain, and the lam represents the lam here. Right? So fa'lan, that wasn't. Listen to these words. Kaslan, jaw'an, atshan, shab'an, mal'an. It all sounds like fa'lan. So this is the pattern, fa'lan. So these words, <coughs> they're all adjectives and they're on the wazn or the pattern. The Arabic word is wazn. Pattern is wazn. They're on the wazn of kaslan. Sorry, fa'lan. Like kaslanu, jaw'an. Kaslan means lazy, jaw'an means hungry. Atshanu, thirsty. Shab'an, satisfied. Mal'anu, which means filled. Then the difference between Shab'an, Shab'an describes, Shab'an describes someone being satisfied. It could be with anything, it doesn't have to be with food or filling a vessel. Where Mal'an describes a vessel or something that is filled. Okay? So you can say your gas tank is Mal'an with gas. Right? And you can similarly say your stomach is Mal'an, is filled. But if you say your Shab'an, you may be filled and you, or you may be satisfied even though you're not filled. Then the number five on the list, masculine proper nouns on the pattern of af'alu. Masculine proper nouns on the pattern of af'alu, such as ahmadu, anwaru, akbaru, as'adu. These are all masculine proper nouns and they're on this wasn't af'alu. Ahmadu, anwaru, akbaru, as'adu. They're all mamnu'a min asarf. Number six, raqm sita. Adjectives on the pattern of af'alu, right, mithil, like abiyadu. Abiyadu, which is white, Ahmaru, right? So Ahmar, which is this is a uh, red, Aswadu black, Asfaru yellow, Akhdaru green, Azraku blue. Now it's not every single color is mamnu min asarf, but if it's an adjective, on this wasn, it so happens to be all colors here, but there are other words that are not colors. And, and it's mamnu masarf. Likewise, there are colors that are not mamnu masarf. Number six, non-Arabic proper nouns. Non-Arabic proper nouns, such as William, Edward. These are not Arabic names. William, Edward, London. It's not Arabic. Paris, Paris. Pakistan, Pakistan. Baghdad. Okay, Baghdad. These names, are, these are not Arabic names. They're not Arabic. Even though they may be um, associated with Islam or, or even Arabs but it's not Arabic names then we have names such as Ibrahim, Ismailu, Ishaqu, Ya'qubu, Yusufu these names even though they appear in the Quran they are non-Arabic names they are non-Arabic names so they will be mamnu'un min as sarf number eight the following patterns of broken plurals which we're going to show in the next video inshallah so we have one more left it's going to show in the next video.